If you're an entrepreneur or business owner wondering which AI platform is the best for copywriting, then keep watching this video because I'll be doing a full review of the platform Jasper AI. And by the end of the video, you'll have all the information that you need to make a decision. Now, if you guys haven't heard of Jasper AI, it's basically an artificial intelligence tool that can help you generate a ton of original text for things such as blog posts, product descriptions, books, ads, and even social media captions. And if you guys are wondering how this AI does it so well, it's actually read over a million blog articles. So when you're using Jasper AI, you're actually sourcing from the best content out there that can help you produce amazing content that people will actually want to read. With all that being said, let's get into the review. Okay, so here I am on the landing page. And if you guys click on the link down below, you guys are gonna get taken to this page where you guys can check out a bunch of different things. But just to show you guys on their products, they have their Jasper API. They also have a browser extension that you can download on Google Chrome. And they also have a template library. So to show you guys their template library, they have over 50 different templates based on you know a bunch of different industry best practices. And guys, these are literally proven examples to generating high quality copy. So if you guys want, you guys can check out this video on their website. But if I scroll down, you guys are gonna be able to see they have tons of different templates. They have ones for text summarizer, they have paragraph generators, product descriptions, they have templates for writing creative stories, blog post topic ideas, they even have ads. So Facebook ads and Google ads for headlines, primary text, and SEO. They have real estate listings, Amazon product descriptions, and yeah, just so many different templates that you guys can look at. Now, if I go to their learn section, you guys are gonna see that they have a blog as well as a conference that you guys can attend and a community that you guys can join where there's a bunch of other creators, marketers, and business owners that are sharing tips on how to use AI. And just to show you guys their blog and what that looks like, basically it has a bunch of tips, resources, and strategies. So right here, they have an article, for example, of Ted, who was a marketer who used AI to ensure that his messaging was on brand. And yeah, you guys can see right here, they have a Facebook group where you guys can join their community. And they currently have over 75,000 members. So a lot of people that are sharing a bunch of tips and tricks every single day on how to better use AI and you know give it better prompts. They also have Jasper Academy. So this is where you can attend a 30 minute live training. That'll basically give you all the starter tools that you need to quickly and effectively use Jasper AI. You just have to click on register on the upcoming session that you want to take. And then last, let's go over their pricing. So right here, they have three plans. They have the creator plan, the team's plan, and the business plan. Now they do have a seven day free trial. So if you guys want, you guys can try out the team's plan for free. And then that's going to include everything in the creator plan. And then also give you three seats, documents, and workflows, three different brand voices, and 150 memories. I'll say that for most of you guys, the creator plan is more than enough for beginners that want to just get started with one brand voice. But if you have you know, multiple brands with different styles of copy and you have multiple team members that need a seat on the plan, then this is where the team's plan would come in handy. Now, going back to the original landing page, again, if you guys click on the link below, all you have to do is click on Try Jasper Free right here. And right here, all you have to enter in is your name and your email. From here, once you have signed up, it's gonna ask you how you plan to use Jasper. So it's gonna ask if you wanna use it for ads, social posts, email, blogging, website content, or other. For this example, I'll just choose ads, and then I'll click Let's Go. And then it's gonna have you choose a plan, so creator, teams, or business. For this video, I'll just choose the creator plan, and then I'll click on Start Free Trial. And then right here, it's gonna ask me for my card information. And then once I enter in all that information, I just click on start trial right here. And down here at the bottom right hand corner, you have Jasper chat. So you could literally just start asking it any question right off the bat. So for now, I'm gonna close this chat. And as you guys can see, this is where you have your documents. So right now they have the getting started with commands document. And if I go ahead and click on that, that's gonna basically give me a beginner's guide to all of the basic commands. And right here, it's gonna also give me a little tutorial where I can learn Learn how to use the editor, what are Jasper commands in the first place, and different editing modes. So I'll go ahead and close out of this for now. And once you guys get signed up, you guys can read through all of this stuff yourself. But it's pretty simple. All you have to do is just fill out some of these fields right here. For example, let's say I want to write an article about entrepreneurship, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and give it a content description. So for example, six things that every entrepreneur needs to know before starting 
a business. And then for tone of voice, I'm just gonna go ahead and choose the witty one since that one showed up as the first suggestion. And then if you want, you can also add some keywords. So I'll go ahead and put entrepreneurship, business. And then down here, I could choose to, you know, just output something short. I could choose to write something medium length or I could choose something longer. For this example, I'll just keep it at medium. So go ahead and click on compose to continue. And then it's just gonna keep on writing. Now this might be a little bit too long. So if I want, I can go ahead and make it shorter and then click on compose. Or if I want it longer, then I'll go ahead and click longer and then compose as well. And yeah, as you guys can see, it's writing a lot more than what it normally would. If I didn't like what it said, then I can click on this button right here and that'll give it some feedback to know to, you know, not write that kind of stuff. And if I did like it, then, you know, I can click on this button right here. And so that way it knows that it was useful. So it'll make more stuff like that in the future. And then this button right here is just the continue writing button. So that's basically the same thing as just clicking on compose. And yeah, as you guys can see, just with a few clicks, it pretty much wrote from one to six. And yeah, as you guys are writing, then you guys can, you know, change this up and then click on compose again. And it'll be writing about the new content that you put. Now, this is just the focus mode. If you guys click on the top button right here, there's a chat mode as well as a power mode. Just to show you guys, the chat mode is basically where it's like similar to chat GPT, where you just write in whatever you want and then send it and then it's gonna compose whatever you wrote. So let's say I want it to write about how an entrepreneur can start their own business with no money in 2023. And if I go ahead and click send, then here it's basically going to, you know, generate the same way that ChatGPT would. And from there, I can either again, give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down. I can try again, or I can just copy the message or paste it at the document cursor. So let's say my document cursor is right there and I click on this, then it's gonna go ahead and paste it right there. Now from here, if I go to the power mode, you guys are gonna see that it's even more customized. So there's a bunch of different workflows, a bunch of templates that I can choose from. And so let's say I want to, you know, write a blog post, right? I can just click on this right here. And then all I have to do is just fill out these fields right here. And then down here, I would just click generate. Or let's say I want to write the perfect headline, right? So I'll click on this and then I'll give it a product description, the company name, the custom avatar, the tone of the voice, and then I'll click generate. So yeah, as you guys can see, you know, we already went over it a little bit in the features, but you could do anything. You could do Facebook ads, Google ads, ads, Amazon product features and descriptions. You can even do YouTube video topic ideas and script outlines. And yeah, there's just so much that you could do with it. So let's say I want to highlight this whole section right here. And then I click on rephrase. It's going to say, please select fewer characters. So I'm going to go ahead and just do it one by one. So I'll just click on this paragraph right here and then click rephrase and boom, it's going to basically generate a rephrase version. Okay, cool. So they wrote another version and obviously there's a mistake right here. So I would just click on try again and cool. If I like this, then I would just click on copy text or I could just cancel all together. Another thing that I could do is I can click on this button right here and choose fix grammar. So let's say that Jasper AI, you know, generated something that had incorrect grammar, or if you just want to check, then you could just click on this button right here and it'll generate another version. And then from here, you guys can choose on replace text and then it's going to paste whatever the new text is. And another really great feature that you have is that you can choose this button right here that says explain it to a fifth grader. And if I click on that, that's basically going to, you know, change this text to make it very, very simplified. And this is really good for pretty much every single thing that you write, whether it's YouTube videos or blog posts, you always want to be writing it very simplified so that everybody can understand. And as you guys can see from a quick Google search, you can see that the average American actually reads at the seventh to eighth grade level, according to the literacy project. So yeah, it's really, really important for you guys to simplify all of your words and all of your copy. That's where this feature would really come in handy. Some more features is that you guys can in enable Grammarly as well as check it for plagiarism. But I believe the plagiarism checker actually costs more. So I won't do that for now, but just know that it is an option for you guys to check out. Now, if I go ahead and click on the all documents, you guys can see that I can create a new document right here. And so basically I can keep it really organized this way. And then I can also trash them. So let's say I want to delete this one. I'll just select it. And then I can either rename it, duplicate it, move it somewhere else, or I can delete it. And then it would end up in this trash right here. You also have access to different projects. So right now this is on the personal project. Uh, if I want, I can click on new project right here and create one maybe for work. And then that way I can have all of my documents for work in a separate project. And then all of my documents for my personal in this project right here, they have the templates. So if you guys click on this, you guys can see it's basically the same thing as the power mode that I just showed you. It shows you all of the different templates that you guys can use. They have the chat right here where you guys
guys can just ask it anything you want. And they even have recipes where you guys can, you know, use these templates in order to copy from the example recipe. Every great story, if you guys are like into filmmaking and stuff, then you guys probably know that there's the hero's journey. So there's 12 stages of character and story arc development. And if you guys open up this recipe, it's basically gonna allow you to run this recipe where it will create a new doc from it. And once you guys run this, Jasper AI will take all of this into account whenever you're giving it any prompts. So you guys can read about all the content in this specific recipe here. If I just click on the run button right there, it's gonna go ahead and create a brand new document. This time Jasper AI is gonna take into account the entire hero's journey and all the 12 stages. And so right here it says start here. And then you would just have to answer these six questions inside the content brief and then fill out a section of the outline. So this is a very cookie cutter approach to writing. You don't have to do this. You could start from literally just scratch like I showed you, but all of these recipes and templates really do come in handy for when you want to do something very specific, such as writing a story about, you know, somebody's journey. Now moving on to the next thing, they also have art. So right here, you can give it a prompt. You can drag an image. You can choose between the mood, the medium, the inspiration style, and a bunch of other things. And then Jasper AI will be able to generate art based off of what you gave it. So let's say you need a YouTube thumbnail, educational video, and then give it some keywords. So like entrepreneurship, business. And then right here, I can also click on enhance prompt. And then that's gonna give me a suggestion on what I might need. So if I like what this says, then I could just copy this right here. And you guys can see that it has a maximum of 400 characters. So I'll just click cancel right here and then paste it right here. And as you guys can see, it's still too many characters. So I'll just go ahead and delete this sentence. And then boom, if I click on create art, that's gonna generate four different images that I can choose from. But yeah, this is a really good starting point if you guys need some inspiration. And obviously this was a really hard task for them to just create a thumbnail. It would probably be better if I had it generate a background image or maybe use it to generate specific elements that I could use to drag onto Photoshop. But yeah, just like other, you know, image generating AI tools, it's not perfect and it's not gonna be able to do something as specific as creating a thumbnail. But even if it's not perfect and you guys can't use it, you guys can always just draw inspiration from what it gives you. And then next they also have brand voice. So this is where you can give Jasper access to, you know, information that's unique to what your business is about. That way you can make sure that every single piece of content that Jasper AI creates accurately represents your company's brand voice. And then last, they have a section for your content. So this is gonna be basically stuff that is only visible to you. So if you have any team members within your project, they won't be able to see the content that's in here. So it's also great for personal use as well as work use. So I highly recommend that you guys try it out and just mess around with all the different things that I showed you in this video. As you guys saw, the dashboard's super easy to use. You literally just go to your dashboard and just click on create right here and you can get started immediately. And again, if you guys are interested, there's a free seven day trial where you guys can mess around with all the different templates that it gives you. And yeah, it has a lot of flexibility. As you guys saw, you can create things like Amazon product descriptions, Facebook ads, and you can use a tool like Jasper AI to create a lot of high quality content within minutes. Now, the only con to this platform is that, you know, again, it's reasonably accurate, but it's not always perfect. Like any other AI tool out there, you wanna make sure that you're always fact checking everything that's being generated. To wrap up this review, the short answer is that Jasper AI is one of, if not the best platform out there for copywriting right now. And although there are a bunch of other cheaper alternatives on the market, I would say that Jasper AI is the best of the best. Again, if you guys are interested, we'll leave a link down in the description below. This is an affiliate link, so it's not gonna cost anything extra to you guys, but you guys are gonna be supporting this channel, which will allow us to continue creating free reviews like this in the future. I hope that you guys got a lot of value out of this video. And if you did, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more videos just like this. Here on this channel, we make a lot of how-to guides, tutorials, and reviews just like this. We're dedicated to helping out new entrepreneurs start their own business. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.